Hey guys, I'm Peter, uh, here with BuzzFeed, here to answer all of your burning questions. Why did you originally join the cast of The Bachelorette? So, I'd actually, I'm 28 now, and the first time I ever tried uh, to get on the show was I was 22 or 23. I was living in Orange County, my mom thought I should go out for an audition. They were having uh, casting calls in Costa Mesa, and I went out, did a quick 10 minute interview, um, never heard anything. You know, I just forgot about it. And then fast forward now to Becca season, I remember. Um, I put in another questionnaire like thing online. Didn't hear anything from that, but fast forward a year from there, I ended up getting a, a call from a producer for Hannah season. And uh, it was funny, in the same week, another producer actually DM'd me on Instagram, and I thought they were related, they weren't. And so it kind of just was something that was meant to be, I guess. What was going through your head when the champagne incident happened with Kelsey? WTF, like, I legit had no idea what was going on. I remember I was sitting there with Hannah Ann, you know, Kelsey comes up to us and she starts, you know, obviously she's visibly upset and I'm just like, I'm freaking out, like, what's going on? And we find out that Hannah Ann inadvertently took her bottle, you know, ended up being just a mistake, wasn't on purpose. And um, I guess a cool little thing is, <laughs> then it didn't show us, but I remember then trying to make Kelsey feel better when we went eventually to go have our conversation and then the champagne exploded in her face. Um, I, uh, I took the rest of the champagne and I poured it all over my face. <laughs> and then like, I remember just like trying to make the moment a little bit better, but this is kind of a weird thing, but thank God champagne gates in the past. Watching back your season, do you notice anyone's personalities different from what was shown to you in person? I think like the Alea stuff comes to mind right away. You know, you see, you know, I obviously felt very strongly for her and it was tough for me to let her go the first time. I didn't necessarily want to let her go. And, you know, obviously I saw, I was influenced a lot for sure from some of the women early on about their opinions of her. And um, I struggled with that. Like, how much do I listen to them? And how much do I kind of just trust my own heart and follow my, you know, follow my heart there. I don't want to say like Alea was like a different person than what I thought she was. Cause I, I know that she was involved with some drama and involved with, um, like I, there was some conversations I saw of her that I was kind of like, shoot, really? You gotta go and say that and you gotta kind of spread that when I'm literally sticking my neck out on the line for you like no other right now and taking all this heat. Do you regret sending Alea home or how that entire situation played out? Would you have done anything differently? Yeah, I do. I definitely regret sending her home. Again, it's tough and I, you know, you, you could go back in time and do things differently, but you could also look at, you could say that about anything in life. So it's not just being the bachelor and what would you regret? It was a tough, weird, complicated situation for me and I had so many people that were so against her in the house and the whole it was just such a toxic environment it's like you have to make this decision in the moment even though I didn't necessarily want to make it but for the greater good and that's honestly why I did what I did you know do I regret that yeah I do I'll be honest how did you feel with the drama that took place that caused you to cancel cocktail parties well the only one that the only bit of drama because the, the one in Costa Rica I didn't I did that on my own I just I knew what I wanted to do and there was no reason in and delaying the inevitable and being on this side of it, there is a part of just like sympathy. Like you don't want to have to put someone through a cocktail party and have a conversation with someone that you already know you're sending home. I just, it's tough. It's a, it's a weird position to be in. So, but there, there was the one at the pool party. Yeah. That I, uh, that I canceled and that just, I was, I was taking so much from everyone and it was tough and I was kind of just overwhelmed and, um, you know, I didn't like what I was hearing about people saying what they were saying about Alea and I just kind of needed to kind of just go take a deep breath and decompress and obviously it caused drama, but it is what it is. Watching your season back so far, is there anything you regret or wish you did differently? Of course I wish I did things differently. Um, you know, I think anyone going through this kind of experience would, would have that, but you know, I, I, I just know and I can feel confident that in the moment I was making every decision based on my heart and what I thought was the right decision. And it's so easy for people to judge and make, you know, all these comments on, you know, what I should and shouldn't have done. But I, I know nothing going around. Like I know nothing about what's going on except for my interactions with everyone in that moment. Um, I give myself a lot of self grace for that and I don't get beat, beat myself up at all. I know I could have put my foot down a lot more in a lot of certain, certain situations, but I am also the person that I just, I love to give people the benefit of the doubt. I want to see the good in people and it's a quality I'm proud of myself for having, but in this specific situation, definitely kind of bit me and it is what it is. What's it like watching the show like versus actually experiencing it? It's, it's tough. I'll be completely honest. It's very tough. There's a lot of things that I don't know about or I don't see when, um, when we're filming. You know, all I know is the interactions I have with the women on those one-on-one -on -one times or in a group date. And, um, you know, watching back now a couple of these episodes and just seeing behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, but just, you know, the interactions with everyone in the house when I'm not there, it's, it's been tough to see, you know, a lot of those conversations and, um, 
you know, them kind of fighting with each other. I didn't like that. I'm excited still though for what's to come for everyone watching and um, a lot of that kind of cattiness drama I think subsides a little bit and um, I think it's really good. Is it interesting watching you kiss like people? I like to kiss a lot of people. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There's, I mean, I can't hide it. Like everyone's seen it. All of America has seen it. I'm a very passionate person. That will never change, and um, you know, if I'm feeling it, I show my affection, and you know, it's I guess physical touch, definitely a love language of mine, for sure. Which do you prefer, being a contestant on The Bachelorette or being the Bachelor? That's the easiest question ever. Being the Bachelor, for sure. Um, no, I, I definitely, I love being the Bachelor for sure a lot more than the Bachelorette. The Bachelorette was awesome, but I never, I've never really had that huge kind of personality. Um, so, you know, group dates, it was always a little weird for me. You know, I didn't want to have to try too hard to stick out. Um, so I was kind of battle with that. But being the Bachelor, you know, you're very lucky to have a lot of amazing women there um, trying to pursue a relationship with you as well. And I don't know, I just felt that role was a lot better for me than the other one. What was your first impression of Hannah B? <laughs> you know what? So I remember the first time I ever saw Hannah B was I was sitting in my on my bed and uh, watching her season on The Bachelor with Colton and it was their date, their first one-on-one -on -one date. I remember it was her birthday and so funny, fast forward a year, I had a really crazy date with her on her birthday, but that's besides the point. And I remember watching her and she got super awkward, you know, with her toes and whatnot and uncomfortable, but I remember relating to her so much because I'm like, I have always said like I can be a very shy person and kind of be awkward or just weird in some moments, it just, it, if I kind of get like in a funk or whatnot. And so her kind of freezing up in that moment, I've 100% been there. And I just remember being like, I get that girl. Like I've been there and had like a kind of a, you know, an attraction here from the get go right there, I guess. Um, little did I know that I would ever date her and have this crazy story um, later on full. But that's, that was my first impression. What has been your favorite day on your season of The Bachelor? So I was actually super lucky. I got to uh, my first date. Uh, with Madison, um, my one-on-one -on -one was one of the most just impactful, just beautiful dates. Um, being able to share that moment with my family is such a beautiful moment, and you know, very close to my family. She killed it. You know, she it could have been a big, big moment for someone, and too big, and it wasn't for her. So that was a great memory. My favorite group date is um, actually in Santiago, Chile. Uh, we all get to go film our own telenovela, El Amor de Pedro. You guys will uh, see what that means, but it's a cool day that takes me back to my roots and how I kind of learned Spanish with my grandmother and just meant a lot. What has been the most awkward, funny, or memorable moment so far? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> so the most awkward moment for sure was um, when I had to watch myself talk about the possibility of Chase Rice performing at a possible future wedding with myself and Victoria F. <laughs> Before I ever knew that Victoria F. dated Chase Rice. Um, that was probably one of the most cringe-worthy moments for me, watching that back. I was like, dude, you look like such an idiot right now. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, it's kind of funny now to laugh about it. I, I kind of, it's, it's awkward to watch me dance. I don't know why I look so kind of weird with some of the dance moves I've done. But, you know, that's just me having fun and losing it. And, you know, I'm goofy, I'm a dork, so I'll own it for sure. So what was your most exciting date of your season? Most exciting date of my season, I would say, was in Cleveland, Ohio. I got to uh, take Victoria F on a just all around awesome date, like an adrenaline. I'm a huge adrenaline junkie, and I got to take her flying um, on Lake Erie there, take her west there, to, we flew to Cedar Point, um, just the two of us, and we had the entire Cedar Point amusement park rented out just for the two of us. We got to pick whatever ride we wanted to go on and just go to it, just ride it as many times as we wanted. Had the time of my life, and then had the most awkward time of my life with Chase Rice and her, but we'll forget that part. Aside from yourself, who from Hannah B season would you have wanted to see as the next Bachelor? Dustin. Dustin Kendricks, 100%. He was my homie. He knows what he wants. He's, you know, he's a very mature dude, um, a good dude, like good to the heart dude. I'd love to see him, you know, have a chance. It's never too late. So, Dustin, Bachelor 2020. Yeah, there we go. Well, I guess 2021. <laughs> Which of the fellow suitors uh, from Hannah B season do you keep in touch with? Uh, well, obviously, Dustin, um, Tyler, Dylan, um, Devin. Garrett, uh, we, I mean, we all have like a group chat, so we're always kind of keeping in touch, you know, whether we see each other or not, and just, you know, keep the communication going. It's kind of a cool brotherhood that I think we'll always have, you know, for, for life, really. What did you learn from Hannah B's season of The Bachelorette? 
that helped you on your season in The Bachelor? Uh, I think one thing that I just told all the women from that first night was to, and I remember Hannah said this her first night, and I, and I, I pretty much copied it almost word for word because I loved it. Just be so raw and so vulnerable with me from the very beginning. And I know this is a weird situation, it's uncomfortable at times, but don't hold back at all. And I know one thing I did was I held back with Hannah, and I was probably like the last person to you know, ever express to her how I truly felt. And I always kind of like punched myself for doing that. I, I, like, I wish I didn't. And so I remember trying to just pass that kind of lesson along right away to the women that don't make my same mistake. And I feel like the women probably took that a little bit too much to heart because they let me hear it every single second they could. <laughs> and um, hey, I guess I asked for it, so I can't, I can't complain. Before being on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, what was your opinion of the franchise? So I've always been a huge fan of the show. Um, the first season I ever watched was Jake Pavelka's season. He was the other pilot, I think about like 10 years ago. And I remember watching it my freshman year of college with one of my best friends, Tenley, at the time. Tenley was a girl that I wish Jake had picked. I was a huge Tenley fan on the show. And um, ever since then, I just, I've just i always been that romantic that I love love and um, especially the show and what it stood for and just kind of giving everyone a chance to fall along in these love stories and live vicariously through them. It's um, There's a reason that so many people love the show and what it stands for. And um, yeah, I just have always been a fan and I'll always be a fan. What's your process when it comes to navigating all your feelings and relationships as The Bachelor? There's no way to prepare for being The Bachelor at all. You think you can come into it and you you know, you're prepared, or I'm gonna do it this way, that way, you just can't. And you date that many women with that many different personalities, it's it's like almost next to impossible to do this perfectly. And I didn't even want to do it perfectly. Like I was, I keep saying I was, I was totally okay with making mistakes. That's part of my process, like going through this. I wanted the women to know that it's okay for you to make mistakes too. And don't feel like you ever have to be perfect because I'm gonna make so many and everyone's already seen that. But you know what, it's all good. What has been the hardest part of being The Bachelor? Well, you're about, you guys are about to see. I obviously took this extremely seriously. And I keep saying that the, this experience kind of almost worked too well for me. You know, obviously out of 30 women, I'm not gonna be insanely invested in all 30. I tried my best to give everyone a chance, but any human being is drawn to only so many people. Now when it really starts to get real, it gets really, really hard for me. And to let go of relationships that I necessarily wasn't ready to let go of yet, but I had to because the time called for it, was tough and I sucked at breaking up. I felt every emotion, literally every single emotion, all the way until the very end. That's just the type of person that I am and I can't really change that. And um, just the end of it gets super real for me. That was, that was tough. And that is all your questions.